Hey there guys, welcome to this week's video. I decided this week to do something a little bit more low-key because I've been really ambitious with my videos lately and it's kind of draining me so I thought that I would just kind of talk for a little bit. This isn't really a return to like how I used to make videos because I started with vlogging but I thought this would be nice because I know a lot of people watch my videos who like know me and kind of like use it as a way to keep up with me which I think is like so cute. So I thought I would just talk about my life and meal prep a little bit. I'm just gonna be baking sweet potatoes this morning because I wanna make like some sweet potato black bean bowls. So welcome to today's video. I guess I'll just talk about what's been going on in my life. I hope that your life is also going right now. Hope you're having a good go of it overall. Say something in the comments. Just like tell me how your day is going, how any fun life updates that you got going. I wanna hear about it. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. This is such a nice catch-up sesh. Wow. School starts in like less than 20 days. 20 days from yesterday, I'll be teaching my first college class, which is freaking insane. I am going to be teaching freshman comp, so I'm pretty nervous about it. They give us like a ton of freedom, which is like really nice because it gives me like the opportunity to kind of design a course that I actually want to teach and the kind of course that I would have wanted to take when I was a freshman. But it's also kind of terrifying because there's just so much freedom that there's so many spots that I could potentially mess it up. And that is a little bit terrifying to me. <laughs> Obviously, how is that not terrifying? Like I'm literally educating people on like basics and like how to write, which is so important in college, especially like no matter what field you go into, like you have to write papers in college and you have to be able to communicate with people no matter what you're doing. Like, so that's a tad bit terrifying to me that I'm just like having literally these students like futures in my hand and like this is something that I've wanted like literally the reason I applied to my grad program is because I wanted to be able to teach this class. I am excited I'm just also nervous. That's like I feel like the main thing that's been going on with me right now is just kind of freaking out a lot about that. I mean it's a pretty reasonable thing to freak out about I think. I moved into my new apartment about two months ago, a little over two months ago, and I feel like I'm finally almost done settling in. Like, my room is pretty much decorated. Me and my roommate have kind of like a rhythm going for how we live together. It's really nice. I haven't lived with her since sophomore year, so it's like nice to kind of be close again because we're, we've always been like close. I've known her since freshman year, and I think that we've been close since freshman year, but... <laughs> Guess it's trash day. I don't know, it's nice to like live with her again and be like really close friends with her again because it's just been a while since we've like hung out as much as we hang out when we live with each other. What else has been going on in my life? I re recently like realized how weird it's gonna be this year that I'm here and all of my college friends aren't. Like not all of them because there's still people in my program that I'm like really close friends with that will be here. But the people who I like used to go out with on the weekends and like used to hang with and the people I used to live with, like all of them are no longer in my town. And so it's really weird. I know that people think it's weird when you finish college and you like start being a person or trying to at least and you can't go back to school. But I feel like there's also like this weird flip side of going back to school and them not going back. It's like the place is the same, so the people aren't, which I honestly am kind of excited for like I don't know if there'll be like no people in my program from like outside the school or what but I think that that would be nice always down to meet new people I'm hoping that now that I'm not technically an undergrad taking grad classes I'll be able to kind of hang out with the grad students more I felt really awkward last year just because first semester my professor constantly pointed out the fact that I was an undergrad student I don't know what his goal was with doing that but it just made me feel like really isolated especially since I was the only person from the four plus one in that class which in the spring I had other people in my classes and just had a overall better go of it but that's been weird my favorite professor died a little over two months ago and that's I'm still kind of like working through that I recently ordered her books of poetry to read and I opened one of them I read one single poem and I bawled my eyes out and I just I don't know how to reopen them and not get so upset and just miss her so much. That's another thing that's just so weird going to the school year is I didn't take any classes with her until last fall, but we got really, really close while I was taking her classes because she's like poetry professor. So like, you know, you write a lot of personal stuff. She really, really believed in me and really, really loved my poetry. And so I've been spooky did. So it's just really difficult to think about the next year, especially since, so she came to my school originally because she had a PhD in rhetoric and composition. She originally came to New Paltz so that she could teach or head the, the composition program. Last year when I was interviewing for the TA position that I have now, they asked like, oh, what professor here do you like idolize? And I talked about her and 
how when she teaches she doesn't make anyone feel stupid she really values everyone's ideas and like values that everyone comes from a different place and has like a different level of learning how she made everybody feel welcome anyone who didn't like her was just an asshole honestly we have mentors that are professors and kind of coming to the realization that she would have been mine because we were so close and the other professor that i have i love her to death and i'm also like close with her but i just know that she would have been my my staff mentor if she hadn't died that's hard she was only 61 she like fell down some stairs and died and so that's been just trying to kind of cope with that because I don't have a ton of experience with death. Like my grandpa just died in like October and that was kind of the first person that I really knew super well in my adult life that died. Having it go from that where he, he was also old and had like Alzheimer's and we knew he was gonna die to like this very unexpected death of someone who is so lively and so vibrant and so like integral in the last year of my life. It's just really difficult to deal with. I don't know, I feel like this isn't even like a life update. This is just me missing going to therapy now. But yeah, what else has been going on in my life? Binging a, um, a podcast right now called Potterless. That's really good. <sighs> okay, that feels like such a shallow jump after talking about Pauline dying. I am really excited to teach in the fall. I think it'll be really cool. I'm just like reflecting back when I was a freshman and how, oh God, the first semester of freshman year was literally the worst. I was so lonely. I felt like I had no friends. I felt like so miserable and so alone and so just no one was in the same boat as me and no one, everyone seemed like they had all these cool friends but everyone was just faking it and I couldn't see through it at the time and I feel like now I have a pretty good ability to see through bullshit like that. But at the time I really thought that all these people were like so cool and happy and like going out to parties every night which at the time I thought was cool and now I'm So my camera died and while it was dead I just started cooking some rice and beans to have as like part of my little burrito bowl things. I made guac yesterday, so that's already like made. But now I'm gonna meal prep some salads and keep talking. I'm really excited for the future because I feel like I constantly have been like improving my life so much to the point where like the person that I was a year ago and the person that I am today, I'm still the same person at my core, but a stronger, like more determined person who I feel like I really know myself now and I know like what I can do and how far I can actually go in life. I think I'm a lot more confident in who I am and what I want to do and that sort of a thing. A year ago, I kind of didn't know what I wanted to do. I was kind of in this weird limbo in between and senior year and I had all these friends that I really loved and I think throughout the year I've kind of gotten better at like sticking up for myself and like knowing what I, how I deserve to be treated and what I have like expectations for like friendships and relationships and stuff which is nice because I'm just like a very optimistic person and so it's really easy for me to let people get away with things in my life if I'd been friends with them for a while and they kind of weren't always best friends to me and I would just kind of excuse the behavior over and over again and just say like oh but they're a good person but they're a good person the thing is that like even if someone is a good person if they don't treat you well then they probably shouldn't be in your life even if they are a good person they're not a good person for you and like that's in like friendships and romantic relationships so I think that that kind of like realization is just something that was I feel like that's the main thing that I learned in this past year that and how to like see when people really truly care about me and like have my best interests I guess in mind and at heart and all that so yeah I'm really looking forward to this year I've got some good friends in my program and I'm excited to like get to hang out with them more because like all of us you know we had like different friend groups in undergrad most of our friends have all like graduated and left so we'll get to hang out with them more in fact i think they're gonna my friends from my program the four plus one are coming swimming while i work today which is nice i know this video is going up on a saturday i think saturday is gonna be my new upload day sorry i've been constantly changing it it's just i should just say that i update twice a week and stop trying to say a day just turn on post notifications because i'm a mess <laughs> but i'm trying to like get ahead and like actually have stuff ready like ahead of time but I'm just a procrastinator even with things that I want to do, so that is hard. This has just changed the angle like three different times, but we're out here. Also, I got my, I had like a free Dunkin' drink. Love a good almond milk latte because I was too lazy to make coffee this morning. Okay, now I'm just kind of separating this between, I'm making like five salads for the next five days, even though it's a Friday. 
we're living it up, you know? Oh, I've kind of been like thinking about where I wanna live and stuff after I get this degree and I'm probably gonna be here for like another two years just because I'm TAing so I can only take like a certain number of credits per semester and also just like my rent situation, it's like easier if I stay here for two years. Yeah, but after that, I think that I wanna move back to Rochester because I really, really love Rochester. I was there over the weekend and just like getting to be at home and like hang out with my family just really like recharges me and I love being around my family and around people that like have known me for so long and like my best friends, a lot of them still live in Rochester and like plan on mostly staying there or staying in the area it sucked because when i was home i got to hang out with my friend abby because we already had fans to film the elastic cover which came out so 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 cute and if you haven't watched that video you should go watch it right after this it's my latest video after this so if you're watching this around the time it came out it should pop up as like my latest video so go watch it because it is so cute i'm trying to do like a more music video -y style for my covers just because I think that it's like fun and cute and I like having a more interesting style for covers just because I mean music is obviously about the music but then it's also about like how it makes you feel and what kind of visions you see when you're listening to it and how you envision yourself listening to it and so I really like the way that I edited that because like we got all these clips from like sunset at a lake and I feel like that's such a vibe for like Alaska but yeah so you definitely should check that out because I really really love that cover and it was so fun to hang out with Abby but it sucked because I didn't get to hang out with my other friends just because I was only home for a few days and they all had like lives. It kind of sucked that I didn't get to hang out with the rest of them especially since one of my friends is literally she's gonna be in Florida for like the whole year she's or not the whole year but she's gonna be in florida until january because she's doing like the disney college program thing so i'm gonna miss her so much and it sucks that like the last time that i was home that she was also home at the same time we just like could not line up our schedules I'm trying to eat healthier. I started exercising again. I hurt my knee last October after I ran a half marathon. And so I kind of could not exercise for like a while because my knee was just in too much pain every time that I even tried to exercise. I just finished like a six week program thing and I'm about to start a new one on Monday. Uh, I finished the Transform 20 and I bought you the 80 day obsession from Beachbody. So I think that that's gonna be really, really good for my body and for like moving and stuff. Yeah, I feel like that honestly is all of the life updates that I have. I don't want this video to be super long just because I want this to be like a little, we're hanging out. Maybe you're meal prepping too. Maybe we're meal prepping together. I would put learn recipes in the description or something, but honestly, I'm just kind of winging it. I just put cut chunked up sweet potatoes and put them in the oven for 45 minutes with some spices on them and some olive oil. And this is literally just like a Greek salad that I'm putting like onions, pepperoncinis, and feta cheese and oh, onion, not onion tomato probably a tomato on too thank you so much for watching and i hope that you have a really good week make sure that if you like this video you subscribe because i'm almost 200 subscribers and i'm really excited about it thank you so much for watching tell me about your life in the comments this feels like a conversation and not just me lecturing about how my life is going see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>